Hi friends and welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad that you could join me today. Today I have a journal share for you. Um, this journal is actually a spring journal that I have been working on for quite some time now and this journal will be for sale in my Etsy shop when you see this video. Um, so let's go ahead and do a flip through of it. First of all, the journal is eight and three fourths by five and three fourths inches and it has a two and a half inch spine as you can see right here. Um, it has six signatures and it has eight pages per signature which gives it about 192 pages and that's front and back. This journal is um, made of chipboard, tea cloth, and modeling paste and as you can see I use modeling paste to create these little hearts right here. Isn't that so cute? I just I just love how this turned out. I'm so excited. Um, this has a hidden hollow back spine and you'll see as I open it that it has that new journal feel. But as you open it more and more that'll go away. But um, right now let's go ahead and take a look. So here we go. So as I open it you'll see that that hidden hollow back spine helps it to open flat each time you turn the page. So that's the really nice thing about the um, hidden hollow back spine. As you can see, um, you can see the spine, it's like right, it's hidden right in here. But when you open it, let me show you how that works. It's so pretty. Sorry, I'm hitting my stand here, but it opens all the way. And then let me see if I can find where the opening is. There you have that space there where it makes it flat for the pages to fall. So isn't that nice? So the pages are not attached here, but they're attached at the sides here very well. So this book is made very well. It is not going to fall apart um, on you. So let's go ahead and take a look, sorry. So the first page here is like a pink iridescent um, specialty paper and then I sewed some Edith Holden butterflies onto the side with a zigzag stitch and hot pink thread. And I think that turned out so cute. And this is a nice specialty paper as well. It has like a puffy sort of paint sort of feel to it with these um, sort of cream. I'm trying to think what they would be called, but this cream pattern right here. Then I've got a vintage journal entry record. I did some stenciling right here. Again, you could use this as a spring journal, a Valentine's journal, but I did put a little bunny here for spring. Then you got a cute little butterfly card or tag in here. And a lot of these things you'll see in here are made by me or by various other journal makers like Sherry at Turquoise Dreaming or Pam Van E made a tag or two in here as well. I'm trying to think who else might have um, contributed to this in one way or another. As I go through, I'll let you know. But here's a nice music page. And this is a nice journaling card. Then a nice like eco paper, some vellum. I did a little collage right here with an admit one sticker. Another sort of card that you can journal on, a memo card. A vintage dictionary page. I liked it because it had the word patchwork on it. nice flower page and I love these pages in the middle here. 
I did all of the pages like this in the middle with a beautiful like flower spread and then a nice ribbon. Here's a belly band with a guest check. Right here I did some watercolor painting and some um, embossing at the bottom here. Here's another Edith Holden tag. And this nice embossed piece. A lot of like texture in this journal, which I really love. Another piece from one of my friends, and this is from Laura at Vintology by Lola. Little shaker. And this cute origami bird. And this nice vintage piece of wrapping paper. I made it into a pocket. A vintage ledger. Some nice 3D stickers. Some more stenciling. And then here's a specimen slide with some um, dried flowers in it. Here's a nice gardening stamp. Some handwriting paper. A vintage card. And here's like a little collage that I made with for this tag. this beautiful I love this photo or this picture of the flowers I just think all these pages are so gorgeous another tag there is a ton of spaces for journaling and for pictures and for your collage in here. I felt like I didn't take up a whole lot of space decorating, um, though I did take up enough. I did want you to make it your own. And I thought this was really cute. I added this um, trim on it with the leaves. And then here's this strawberry paper clip with the envelope. Some more stenciling on this page. And I'll let you discover what's in that envelope. And here are some um, original painted images by Jessica Rapp. And another tag by Edith Holden, created by Turquoise Streaming, Sherry at Turquoise Streaming. And that was the end of the second signature. This is another specialty paper, which is raised. It's so pretty. Some more stenciling. Try to move a little bit more quick, quickly. Here's another um, piece of artwork by Jessica Rapp. And here's the tag by Pam Van E. Just loved that and thought it went really well in this journal. This is a nice piece of vellum and I made it into a pocket on the other side. Some
some more of those butterflies stitched to the side of the page. Another dictionary page. This is a children's book page, vintage. And it says, wake up and do all that you can on the tag or journaling spot. Here's another stamp. It says bloom. A guest check. I just love this pocket right here. I think that's so gorgeous. And the papers just work so well with all of the elements in here. Here's some vintage lace with some butterflies. And a gold doily that I made into a little pocket. And a little cluster up here on top. Some more stenciling. And this is actually, right here, a tag in the inside with this cute little bird on it. And some more of that leaf trim. And I love this little collage, well, this little butterfly right here on this, um, it's like a natural paper. And here's another Edith Holden tag. This is some coffee dyed paper. more coffee dyed paper, more of the handwriting paper. Oh, I love this right here. Another floral illustration. And you've got a round tag with this on the back. Some of these things I took from another journal that I thought, you know, just matched this journal perfectly. And then this is so cute with the ribbon and the little journaling spot. Some more stenciling. I love these floral illustrations. And then here's a um, vintage um, fabric tag with a doily and a little butterfly on it. And here's a vintage piece of wrapping paper, which I just love. That was so hard for me to give up. <laughs> And see how all the pages are really lying flat? Isn't that nice? It's because of that hidden hollow back spine. It's going to be really easy to journal in here. This is another card from my friend Laura. A guest check. Here's a tag with some of the pink um, leafy ribbon on it. And then this is really pretty. I love how I put this crocheted trim on here and made um, this pocket. And it says, let the adventure begin with all this clock paper, which I love. I love that scrapbooking paper. Here's another one of those um, irregular shaped tags 
with the vintage fabric, the doily and the butterfly. Do what you love. There's another pocket right here. And this is a very old piece of um, book page about France. Another tag. This is actually a double pocket. Got a pocket there and then one here. More stenciling. We got this beautiful paper clip from my friend Laura at Vintology by Lola. Isn't that gorgeous? If you hear banging in the background, they're still building that house next door to me, so. Let's see, I don't want to mess this, this paper clip up. I'll put it on after the video. And then this cute trim on the side here. And then this vintage flash card. And then that's it, friends. And then it also comes with a seam binding closure right here. Isn't that gorgeous? I just love it. I love that color seam binding. It's so pretty. And then the cheesecloth that I coffee dyed on the outside of the book. You can actually fray this a little bit more if you like, but I didn't want to do that in case you wanted it like that. So yeah, so that's my spring journal, friends. And again, this will be for sale in my Etsy shop when you see this video. So go on over there if you'd like to check it out, um, if you think that this one is meant to be for you. So thank you so much for watching, and um, I'll see you again soon in another video. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.